Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Hmm. The day of Sotel. I'm trying to get it. Sealtel. I'm trying to. Sealtel. Sealtel. Archangel. God put in charge of the day to take care of the day that, you know, we're not going to follow, you know, concerning, you know, how he created the days and God created the day and David got this is the day that the Lord has made and Christians probably calling it Thursday, you know. Yeah. So carnally. You know, it's this world has so much error to it. It's amazing how people are willing to accept error and not try to find the truth, you know. Wow. I mean, they're waiting for some tragedy to happen. They're waiting for an explosion and waiting for their life to be, you know, discombobulated, I bet, you know. That, you know, uh, sad. Well, you know, here's the thing. Uh, people, you know, we can't sit up here and just... Uh, Time is of the essence for certain, for people that we need to understand that we are, you know, placed on this earth for a purpose. And if we're not fulfilling that purpose, then what are we doing? You know, I mean, a lot of people are not operating according to their purpose. And it's a sad thing, you know, that people are this world system is to distract everybody that they don't have time to find their purpose. They trying to, you know, to me, I kind of look at life as like, you know, you born, you go to, they babysit you, or, you know, you learn, and then you go in school, and you get educated, you get school, you know, you kind of like, you know, go to grade, to grade, to grade, to grade, and then you go to, you know, uh, high school, and, you know, you kind of like, it's kind of like time is, pushing you and and at this time you're doing things and you're doing this and doing this and doing that and then it's like you know you're doing this and you're not sure what you should be doing but you're just doing this and you're doing this and you're doing this and you're doing this and then if they push you out to the world now you're going to college and you're doing this and you're doing this and you're doing this and you're doing this but you sure is this what you're supposed to be doing you're doing this and you're doing this you know and everybody's just doing things and doing something but the question is is it really the purpose that you're supposed to fulfill? You know, it's what, you know, uh, I hope that certain people kind of stop, or I call it sailor, a pause and say, wait, is this what I'm supposed to be really doing? Hmm. You know, uh, that's really is an important question, very important question, you know that people should seek to find that answer they should but mm, people are not doing that because this world is just putting stuff in front of you you know what I'm saying try this out try this out try doing this try doing that uh, you know you might like to want to do this you might want to get into this why you want to get into that but it's like wait ho 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 world system um let me really find out what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, uh, with my life. What, what, let me go find out, you know. Let me slow down. I know I might like this. I know I might like this. But let me find out what I'm really supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That sounds good. That sounds great. But let me see if this is the overall purpose of my life you know and that's what I want to talk about the reality of the discovering you got to discover the overall purpose of your life and you know the thing is God create these rules of you know concerning you know Matthew 7 7 seek and ye shall find knock and the doors will be open you know that like I tell people, the first, the first, you know, word is the most important word. Seek. God has this, this, this overall purpose in, in a that something you have to seek after. And here's the problem: 
we're caught up in other things and caught up in this thing and we caught up in that thing and it, we're caught up in this thing and this is okay. We're caught up in this thing. This is great and it's wonderful and it's terrific. We're caught up in this things and this thing's not too good, not too wonderful, but I have to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Like work and stuff like that and school and stuff like that. But is it the overall purpose? If this is a overall reality of what you're supposed to be accomplishing. And that's what, you know, but God positioned for you to find his overall purpose in seeking and finding. Now, um, one thing I learned about what God done for me, for me to enter in my purpose in God, you know, he led me to the place where I'm at, is that he, you know, um, he does things, you know, he, he works accordingly. God works, you know, so really accordingly and efficiently, you know, to show me things that I haven't haven't I know but I need to understand see and a lot of people reason why they will not find, have a difficult time finding their overall purpose is because they're trying to figure out their purpose instead of trying to understand your purpose now what's the difference between figuring out and understanding is the question now figuring out is like means that I got this I got that I got that, I got this, I got that, and I got this. Where am I supposed to do with all this? More like I can write, I can sing, I can draw, I can uh, talk, I can do, I can uh, fix stuff, I can do this, I can do that, I can do that. All right, what is my overall purpose? See, and that's the whole idea, you know, of, of you trying to figure out which one I do, which one I do, which one I do. But understand your purpose is what, how God does things. He, um, he, he positions you to see something that, you know, that it will interest your viewpoint. You know, he'll put something that will be interest your viewpoint of life. And that from your view, you know what I'm saying? Your individual view. Only you will see something that he that he will present to you to say that wait a minute this, I, I'm I'm interested in this but this here you know is presenting a viewpoint that that I can see myself help bettering more people in getting involved in this and what he does we get him you know he'll put something out there it's be like something shiny that is on to the side that that you will kind of you know find yourself working on that is from your viewpoint remember that you will get involved with and you know kind of like talk if it's something about talking to people and you know you might meet somebody that's doing the same thing and all of a sudden what will happen is you know you will find yourself involved with something that's going to help somebody it's going to be something that will going to help somebody to help somebody, to help somebody. And, and it's going to be like, you know, whoa, this is quite interesting. Or, or for certain people, something that you need help in. You know, you need help in this. You need help in that. You need help in that for certain people. But he will draw, you know, and when you start getting help and you start listening to other people that need help, you're like, oh, oh, okay. I, I, I experienced that. I kind of understand that area. And all of a sudden, in this idea that you will find yourself, you know, more likely um, gelling with people, you know, gelling with certain people on a viewpoint that can help better other people. And it, and it all of a sudden will lead you to this understanding, well, it's a po well, if when it's God, it will lead to the understanding that you know I need to in excel more in this. Kind of like you know I, I do feed the hungry uh, every Saturday. You know, reach out and I, I I'm I'm doing that every morning. I'm every Saturday, and a friend of mine you know put me there, and I was like, oh, let me check this out, you know, and 
I did it one time, you know, and the person that was over to reach, you know, the, the, the reach out told me to just start pouring drinks, you know, in people, you know, cup, you know. And I just was like pouring drinks in people cup, you know, as a servant, you know. And all of a sudden, you know, something in my heart, I, it's just, I mean, it just like, after, after I left there, it was like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's more likely it's a compel, something, com, a compelling energy, more likely, force that says, Mac, well, I need to be there. I need, I, I need to be there. You know, I need to be there where there is a need. You know what I'm saying? And I was hooked, you know, it's just, I was just hooked on that, uh, to, I was just hooked, hooked, you know, and the thing is, it's on a Saturday morning, and, you know, I like, you know, watch college football, you know, I'm a, I love college football, but it was like, I had, but, you know, and, you know, it started at one o'clock, and, you know, they got college football games on, but it was something that's like, I got to get there, you know, it's like, it was something that compelled me to go there and go there to help people and I just went there and I just went you know and all of a sudden I'm you know still doing it helping reach out been there for like kind of like three years or something but the thing is it shouldn't be difficult to understand our overall purpose it shouldn't be difficult you know overall purpose is Genesis 126 we're made in the image and the likeness of God. And to more likely tell people through Jesus Christ, you can become made in the image and the likeness of God. Is what is our what will it will lead you to understand. You know what I'm saying? And to I learned that it's about sharing the word of God. I mean, it's really not everybody call it ministry, you know. I don't really call it ministry, I just call it sharing the word of God. I share you know, my tidbit of information, they share their tidbit of information, and another person share their tidbit of information. And, you know, it's, to me, it's fun, it's, it's, I love hearing people, you know, I love hearing people speak the word of God, then speaking. People don't know that, you know, they think, well, Mac, you talk too much, and you talk this. Well, I, I, I tell people I talk too much because I hear too much. You know what I'm saying? My, he it, I hear I can hear from God, you know, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. I develop a lot of faith in my heart that I can hear, a, hear from God and hear from God a lot. That's why I keep doing all these videos that I want to help others. I, I don't want to be famous. I want to help others. You know, I want to tell people, try to convey that, you know, to people. People think, nah, nah, Mac, you trying to get big time in, in this world. Look, here's... Here's what a transformer will tell you, the people that's transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only attention that matters to a transformer is two people, and that's God and Jesus. That's the only attention Mac Johnson need, or I'm a transformer. That's the only attention I need. I, 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 all I need to know is God loves me and Jesus loves me. That's it. I mean, I don't need the whole world to love me or you know I really don't I, I, I the only person I need to know that truly loves me and I need their approval is God and Jesus that's the only two people but the thing is my I I do this thing because I want to help people I'm tired of people you know in darkness I'm tired of people in bondage I'm tired of people getting killed I'm part I'm tired of what Satan is doing to people you know it's horrible it's horrific down here you know what I'm saying? What's going on? But I'm just tired of, and that is driving me to continue to do what I'm doing. And you know, and and that's what really your overall purpose is supposed to drive you to do something that it will leave you selfless. That is not about you. It's all about helping others. You know, and that's what the true overall purpose of what Jesus says: love one another. That will transpire when you discover 
the love, you know, the overall purpose. But really, yes, to love one another really is the overall purpose. But I hope you understand that. All right, to God be the glory here and forever. In Jesus' name, amen.